Hillary Clinton's statements center on her assertion that Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. She absolutely was the OG election denier. She, first of all, she came out before the sun had risen to concede the election to Trump. And then spent the next four years saying he was illegitimate. He was an illegitimate president. She, okay, well, first of all, saying she didn't say he was an illegitimate. Yes, she did. You tell me exactly what she said. She said those exact words repeatedly. Okay. Uh, I mean, she conceded the election. Whether, uh, whether you're interpreting her uh, disappointment at, win at losing it uh, as the same thing as Trump not conceding it, I don't know that that's where you're getting it from. But again, it's a tremendous false equivalency. You could ask Hillary Clinton right now who won that election. She will tell you Donald Trump. won. Now the election. she knows she has to because of what she, Trump has she done. She came out that night. The significance of consistency in political dialogue and its effects on public confidence in the electoral process can be exemplified by Megyn Kelly's observation regarding Hillary Clinton's persistent questioning of Donald Trump's legitimacy. This has sparked conservative concerns that such rhetoric may erode the fairness of elections and undermine democratic norms. Megyn Kelly's fact-checking efforts can be seen as an attempt to hold politicians accountable for their statements and actions, embodying democratic values of individual responsibility and integrity. The interaction between Megyn Kelly and Bill Maher serves as a microcosm of the larger cultural and political battle over the recognition and discussion of elections. Additionally, Kelly's concerns extend to cultural and social issues, like the debates on gender identity in locker rooms, which resonate with conservative values centered on family, traditional norms, and child protection. It's essential to consider how these issues intertwine with political loyalty and the broader conservative movement.